from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 5 a.m., major turmoil in the Middle East. The latest as Israel declares war following a terrorist attack by Hamas. Plus, as the death toll rises in Israel, people here in Southern California gathered to remember the innocent lives lost in the attack. And they were supposed to be responding to a robbery call, but instead they got caught playing Pokemon Go. Shocking new video of the now former LAPD officers. Good morning to you. It's 5 a.m. I'm Rachel Brown. <laughs> I'm Leslie Sykes. John Gregory has a morning off of just that, that video. That, that's Crazy. unbelievable. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, let's hi. Um, you have to hear uh, it. Welcoming that cool down. Yeah, welcoming the cool down. Listen to the video because they're intense about the, it's interesting. Yeah. I get, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. All right, good morning, everybody. This is what it looks like today if you're heading out the door. 75 degrees over in Orange County, 78 Inland Empire Valley communities, 88 degrees. Sunshine all the way around. The beach is 69, mountain 67, the high deserts, 88 degrees. Okay, we have more coming up in a full forecast in a little bit. We're going to talk about some changes here in Southern California. Most of those changes include cooler weather coming in on your Tuesday and Wednesday before we warm up. But how much warmer will we get by the end of the week? I'll show you that coming up. All right, Brianna Ruffalo's in. Taking a look at traffic this morning. There's a little bit of fog out there, Brianna, hoping that that's not going to disrupt too much. How's it going? Yeah, good morning. Yeah, be safe if you are driving and headed out this morning. Uh, we do have a pretty bad accident I want to show you. It's down into the Irvine area. It is on the 5. It's headed northbound, and it's a full freeway closure. We have about four to five cars involved in this crash. It's right at Jamboree Road, and so you're going to have a really tough time getting out of the Orange County area uh, taking the 5. You're going to be diverted off. We do have some traffic there right now. Uh, it's just expected to get worse, though, of course, as time goes on. We're not sure when they will have these lanes reopen. Of course, you can consider taking the 405 or any other alternate, because either way, you will be diverted off uh, the 5 if you are headed northbound from the Irvine area. Leslie, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Brianna, thank you. Major developments in Israel's war with Hamas. Israel says its military has regained control of all the communities around the Gaza Strip. Earlier today, Israel stepped up airstrikes targeting Gaza. This all comes after Hamas launched thousands of rockets from Gaza into Israel on Saturday. Hamas militants also crossed the border into Israeli communities. In response, Israel declared war against Hamas. More than 1,200 people on both sides are dead. Thousands of others are injured, and as many as 100 people have been kidnapped. The uh, challenge for, uh, for Israel and uh, the challenge for all who support uh, Israel and oppose horrific acts of terrorism is, again, to take measures that provide for accountability for what's happened and also to uh, do uh, our best to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Uh, and that is likely to take some time. The U.S. has deployed a carrier strike group to area to the area in support of Israel. In our local area, security remains tight as another rally is planned for tonight in support of Israel. Eyewitness News reporter Jaisha Patel is live in Beverly Gardens Park with more. Jaisha. Leslie, Rachel, many here in SoCal are trying to find ways to comfort each other during this difficult time. Now, that rally is scheduled to happen tonight, but last night, a group of people gathered at Stephen Wise Temple to remember the hundreds of people who have already died. At that vigil, city leaders, including Mayor Karen Bass, joined the Jewish community, and earlier in the day, hundreds of protesters gathered outside of the federal building in Westwood, waving Israeli flags, condemning Hamas for launching the attack. Now, some what's happening could cause violence towards Jewish residents, but Sheriff Robert Luna, his department is taking steps to keep people safe and should 